62.262. Alright guys, welcome back to another video. This is going to be the first autocross after installing the rear sway bar on the SUBI. And sadly, it's the last autocross due to the pandemic. They haven't started up with any more, so I haven't been able to do this anymore. Ready? Yep. So right. let's see how this lap goes. Bit of oversteer there with the new sway bar settings. I have it set up on medium settings. I might loosen it to the uh, loose setting just so it doesn't doesn't so it's not as abrupt. Uh, somewhere around this area in the course, they said I DNF'd or went on the wrong side of a cone, but I looked back at the footage and I couldn't find it, so if you guys saw it, let me know. My main goal, just like every other autocross, is just trying to get here through here without DNFing and trying to figure out the course. This uh, slalom right here should be setting up on the other side. It's throwing me off a little bit. Just trying to make sure I finish up strong. The end of the first lap was a 70.774. Since I DNF the first lap, I'm going to be doing this one slower than I would have been doing, but it's still an improved time because I actually already run the course once. No oversteer on that one. When I got the engine bay noise pipe back in, I got it turned down so it's a little bit more realistic. Sorry for all the wind noise. Got it linked up correctly this time, that way I can attack the next turn. For this one, we got a 66.733. And this guy up here was in the other blue WRX. Nice improvement, man. Oh, yeah. Was it four seconds on that one? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> nice job. He's been doing this for a while, so he's uh, he was up in the higher ones of the WRXs. For this third run, I didn't actually have the uh, GoPro on, so we're just going to see me go through here. I tried to do some left foot braking on this one and it ended up slowing down my time. Yeah, you can tell with me jolting forward that I'm not really used to the left foot braking portion. With me using the left foot braking and, and not being used to it, I'm just slamming on the brakes so I'm breaking a little too early for that for that type of breaking trying to drive the car a little too hard you hear all the tires squealing
This one we end up with a 78.376, so a lot slower than the last run, just because I was trying too hard and that left foot braking was messing me up. All right, go ahead, man. All right, final run. Trying to see if I can put it all together to get the fastest time that for me today. Wheel, so you know we're at the almost the limits of the tires. Wake up the slalom right. Got a little bit of an oversteer right at the end, crossing the line. Let's see the time. 66.528.